Come on, give the Lord a great big shout. Praise the Lord. I am so glad to see all of you guys here tonight and then all of you guys that join us all across the world and all of our different broadcasts. We're just so grateful. I um, have a couple of people to testify tonight, and we'll start with Caden. So, Caden, this is your first night back in a little while. Share with us how important it is to serve the Lord and stay in fellowship. I actually was in this place uh, about three years ago. I actually graduated the All the Way House program. Uh, when I left church, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. When I left here, when I left under the covering of God, I, uh, I, I wasn't. I was. I was prepared. I thought, but I didn't. I didn't fully grasp my con the concept. And when you when you go away from under that covering and you're not faithful and you're not serving God and you're not living for Him, bad things tend to happen. That's what happened with me. I uh, spent almost a year in jail. I just got out about two days ago. So uh, I'm very happy to be back. Very happy. You know, I could have been away for a lot longer. And I'm very blessed that I'm here right now. So is he welcome back? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Lord. Danielle, how important is it when you're staying connected? How important is it to keep coming to church? It's so important. I mean, Jesus is the only one that can do anything in your life. I mean, you can't do anything yourself, and I think when you realize that, that's the most important thing. So, you know, the outside world doesn't have much to offer you, but, you know, the devil comes real slow and wants to destroy, and he holds that door. So I think it's important to keep coming back and keep getting the word of the Lord. And every time you hear something or read something, it's completely different meaning. So, I mean, you can go and read a book or you can keep getting new nutrients that you need to hear. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's ask God's blessing. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for every person that's here tonight, all of those that are with us all across the world in our broadcast. We're so grateful for every person. And Lord, we know that each and every person is valuable, Lord. Each person is important, God. So Lord, we honor every person that's here. And I pray, Lord, tonight as we study your word and as we talk amongst ourselves and as we uh, study your word, Lord, that you will supernaturally speak to our hearts. God, that you would fill our hearts with your presence and with your love and with your power. Lord, we ask you to fill this sanctuary and the airways, Lord, with your wonderful love, your great mercy your great strength, oh great God. We pray, Lord, that you will save people tonight, people that have never made Jesus Lord of their life, or are coming back home to you in rededication. Lord, we pray that you would save people, that people would be revived and renewed and refreshed in you, Lord. God, we pray for those that need healing. We pray for physical healing, any kind of physical pain in any body that's under the sound of my voice. We release healing into you. Every wounded heart, God, any relationship that's not where it needs to be, God, that you'll heal families tonight, God. Lord, that you'll heal marriages, Lord, and children's hearts, God, back to their parents. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do a great work in all of our hearts and in all of our lives. And for it all tonight, Lord, we worship you, we magnify you, and exalt you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And everybody says, amen and amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord together.
changes darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring and when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you we worship you Can't get enough. Oh, this 
Hey, let's pray for some people tonight. Our leaders, if you guys would come up right now. And listen, any prayer requests you have tonight, make sure you touch and agree with someone. We're going to believe God that He's going to move in your situation, in your life. That God is going to supernaturally do miracles tonight.
the rest of all my life. Oh, he is my song. Cause you are good. You're good. Oh, and you are good. Good. Oh, you are good. You're good. Oh, I mean, you believe he's good tonight. Good. <laughs> oh, come on. I said he's good tonight. You are good, you're good, oh, you are good, you're good, oh, when you are good, you're good, oh, and you are good, you're good, oh, and let the king of my heart. Be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song. And you are good. You're good.
never gonna let me down. Cause you are God. You're never gonna let me never gonna let me down. Cause you are
it is God? Huh? What is God? Come on, man. He's worthy. He's good. I hear all kind of good stuff out there. Man, I'm just giving him praise tonight. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Because he's so good. man, even when it's bad, you're good. Look, God's, God's the same yesterday, today, and forever, amen. Nothing changes him. Just because the circumstance is up and down doesn't mean God is. Come on, we serve the God of Israel, the God that never sleeps nor slumbers, and he knows who you are, amen. He knows where you're at. He knows how you feel, and he knows what's going on. Everything passes through his hand before it comes to us. If you're walking through something right now, it's because he's got confidence in you. Have you considered my servant? Fill in the blank. So just trust him. Keep your eyes focused on him. It's not that he don't like you. He loves you. He's for you. The word of God says what? That it rains on the just and the unjust. It just is what it is. We live in a sin-sick world. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily that God puts stuff on us. But just as a natural result of living life amongst a bunch of sin, you know what I'm saying? Our bodies deteriorate, people stick us up. I mean, it just is what it is, you know? Sometimes other people's sin intrudes on our little personal space, you know? But it doesn't mean that God is any less good. It just means there's a very bad devil and they got some ignorant people, amen. Come on! That's right. If, if, if you really, really, really know Jesus Christ and you really love God with all your heart, I want you to give him a great big holler. One, two, three. Hey! Woo! Because you're good, God!
the Miracle Place Church. We love you in the name of Jesus. You may be seated if you can. Hallelujah. Man, I got all excited and almost lost my little mic afro, you know? It fell off. Well, we scraped because I got it back on there. Amen? Oh, don't be offended. Don't be so politically correct, you know? Come on. How's everybody doing? Praise the Lord. Me too. <laughs> Come on. Loving the Holy Ghost. Come on. He's so good to us. I needed a little bump of Jesus tonight. Come on. I gave up everything else, you know. I laid it all down for him. You know? Because that's the only way you'll see the benefit of serving God is if you lay it all down. You try to put your little toe in there. You don't try God. You know what I'm saying? Either you is or you ain't. It is what it is, you know. But if you will just, if you'll just step out and just yield, you'll be way surprised. I mean, I told God straight up. I said, you know, because I felt like He was tugging at my heart one night, and, and and I told Him, I said, man, you don't want none of this. I said, for real, you know. And I, like I'm talking to God like this, you know. I mean, no sense in not being real with Him because He knows anyway. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like. You know, God, I am dirty. I am, I am, you know, I am not a good person. You really don't want me in your club. <laughs> and he said, yes, I do. And I said, I don't think I can live like them shiny head Christians, you know. I mean, I'm a Christian. I believe in all, but I don't know if I can live like them. I don't know if I could commit to be going to church all the time and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't believe. But I found out later when I got in the Word that even demons believe and tremble. It's got to be something more, man. You got to really turn it over. But from that little place, I gave my heart to Jesus Christ. And within two weeks, man, he totally transformed me. I had a filthy mouth. I could make a man blush. You know what I'm saying? For real. I know y'all find that hard to believe, right? <laughs> I was working in clubs, hustling people. And, and God, just in a matter of two weeks, cleaned me up from dope, my mouth, and sexual promiscuity. Now, I still had a few other issues hanging on, so don't judge people because you don't know what God's dealing with. It might be deeper than what you see. Amen? What I'm trying to say is if he could do it for me, he can do it for you. He's good. He don't put nothing more on you than what you can do. Amen? So you can't get these preconceived notions that I have to clean up and I have to make all these commitments and stuff prior to giving yourself over to the Lord. Because once you do, something supernatural takes place in your life, man. And you just you just don't want to no more. It's something different going on. And you might have a little few lingering areas, but God will clean that up. It takes a little time, amen? So don't give up on yourself. If you're a new Christian or you've been a Christian for a while and you got some areas that you're still dealing with, and it's all good. We all got stuff. Amen. Ain't nobody rapturing out of here tonight. I promise. I promise. Father, I just pray for your people right now. Those who are feet on campus and those who are listening over the airwaves, Lord Jesus. I pray your grace and your mercy. Just, just flood them right now from their head to their toes, Lord, like the oil. That fresh oil, Father, that revives our spirit. That oil that changes us, that makes us new. That oil that gives us a desire to do what you want us to do, Lord God. Take what we're giving you and make something amazing out of it, Lord. We surrender to you tonight. We trust you, Jesus. We pray that you'd knock off all the big things that we're really struggling with and that you really help us to walk out the ones that... That, that maybe aren't the major ones right this moment, Lord God. We, we just pray, Father, that you would just continue to be with us, Lord. Don't ever let us go, man. We need you so bad. So we love you. You are a good, good God, and we appreciate you coming and being with us tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you. And all God's children said, come on, come on, come on. Did I already ask if we had guests up in here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just get caught up in the moment, amen. Do we have any guests up in here? If you would, just hold your hand up high for me and keep it up for just a minute. i got an usher that's coming to you. Don't get scared now, man. I love how they've been putting all our guests on this side, away from the, the exit door. 
That's, that's so they can't bolt, you know, if it gets kind of weird up in here. We got somebody coming to you right now with a card, if you wouldn't mind filling that out for us and uh, putting it in the offering bucket. We're going to take our tithes in just a few minutes. If, you, if you're not done, just keep working on it, and you can hand it to one of us before you leave tonight. And we're just honored to have you guys here tonight. So thank you for coming. We sure appreciate it. Hope we ain't freaked you out very much. So love you and bless you in Jesus' name. Give our guests a little hand clap. Let them know they're okay. All right. All our guests by Facebook Live and everybody over the airways, we love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and, and every night. Come on, remember, every Thursday at 630 and every Sunday at 11, here we are. Y'all just, if you can't make it, if you're too far, your house, rent, house, whatever, house, what do you say, house bound, man, look, put us on. Join with us. Amen. Let God touch you where you're at. All right, we're going to go watch uh, NPC 77 News right quick. Check out what's going on around here. We'll be right back. <laughs>